Hi all, in this video, we are going to make IoT based gas leakage detector with email alert. For this, we will interface MQ5 gas sensor with ESP32 board. Whenever the gas level exceeds beyond a certain limit, the email is sent automatically. We will use our Gmail account to send or receive this email. The email alert can help you to take an action immediately for safety purposes. So now, let's begin with the project. But before that, I like to tell you the official sponsor of this video is NextPCB. NextPCB is one of the best and highly professional PCB manufacturer company in China. Currently, they are having offer. They will give you 10% discount on any of the order. And you can order full air PCB at $200. All you need is go to their website, upload a Gerber file and view the Gerber file. And then you can select the detail like number of quantity, board color and each every detail, select the country and then submit an order. So after a week, you can get a very good quality and high quality PCB. So here is the circuit diagram. The circuit diagram has ESP32 board connected to MQ5 gas sensor. MQ5 has 4 pins, out of them only 3 pins are used. We have connected the analog pin of MQ5 sensor to D35 of ESP32. VCC is connected to 3.3 volt and ground is connected to ground. I have assembled the circuit on breadboard. So now let's begin with creating a Gmail account. I recommend you to create a new Gmail account. Don't use your personal account. Because if anything goes wrong, your account will be directly blocked. So go to this address and create a new account. After that, you need to turn on the less secure apps. So turn on the less secure apps, go to this address and just click here to turn it on. Now let's directly go to the programming part. So for this, we need web server library and async TCP library. We also need ESP32 mail client as library. So I have given the link of all this library in the description. You can download from there. Similarly, just change the Wi-Fi SSID and password so that ESP32 get connected to the network. Here you need to enter the sender email account. And then we need to enter the sender password as well. So the SMTP server that we are using here is smtp.gmail.com because I am using gmail.com this is the port that is 465 here you can give any of the subject subject name for example I am giving alert gas leakage detector here is the input message so here there is the receiver email address where you want to send the receiver the email and here is the threshold value you can change any of the value so now just select the right board, select the right port and simply upload the code to the ESP32 board. After uploading, just open your serial monitor. So you can see the ESP has printed the IP address. Now it has started connecting to the SMTP server. It is signed in and then now it has sent the email automatically. Because the threshold limit has exceeded. The threshold limit is 33 but I have used smoke as a agent that is a sensing agent which can increase the threshold so that I can check whether the email can be sent or not. So by using the smoke the threshold has raised and then the email is sent automatically. So if I open my gmail address so you can see I have received an email okay so the email is gas level above threshold value and the, it's showing the gas level as 60.01. So in this way, you can send the Gmail to any of the Gmail whenever the high level of gas is detected. So you can see here is an IP address. So you just need to copy this IP address, open any of the web browser and then just paste it to the web address. So you can see a web page is displayed. So here you can see a gas level is shown as 62.37. From here, you can enable the email notification whether you need to send it or not. You can change the threshold. So after changing the threshold, you just need to click on submit. So the threshold will change from here. Similarly, you can also change the email address from here. So whenever you refresh the page, the new gas level will be detected. 
थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग